Hi, I'm Jess from Babes on the Run. Today we're going to do a super ab set. We're going to do 100 exercises of abs all in a row. We're going to do some crunches, some leg raises, some prone holds, and some bicycles. Right, let's get started. All we'll start with is just some dynamic stretching to make sure that we're not going to stretch. So just some toe taps, okay? These are going to be stretching the back of our legs, our core, and our back. Benefits of some dynamic stretching is that you're moving, so you're getting your heart rate up at the same time. Good, straight into some twists. We're gonna do some high knees. Some bum kicks. Back to high knees. Just want to get our heart rate up before we start. And one more bum kicks. One last round of toe taps. Keeping your knees straight. Good. Okay, now that we're all warmed up, let's get started. Getting down on our mat. All right, we're gonna start off with crunches. Okay, so hands either across your chest or at your ears, make sure we're not pulling our neck up. And we're just coming half the way up. So head comes back down each time. And we're just doing 10 of them. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now straight into some leg raises. So feel free to stick your hands underneath your bum so that your spine stays straight, legs up in the air. And we're just doing single legs. So it's 10 on each side. That's six. A couple more. Last one. Good, straight into double leg raises. 10 of these. So basically it's 10 of every exercise and we do 10 exercises. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Now, I always just put my sets into the notes of my phone so it's easy to remember. So we're going straight into bicycles. So we're working our obliques now. So it's opposite elbow to opposite knee. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Coming up into a crunch position, our legs in the air, and we're doing a Russian twist. So elbows to the ground. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, moving into our prone holds now. So onto our front, up into a prone, making sure that you're tucking your tummy in. So suck it into your spine, your back straight, your bum's not in the air or drooping down, so it's nice and straight. Keep your hands facing upwards so that we're not holding pressure in our hands. And we're just holding that for 10 seconds. Once you've done 10 seconds, we're up onto our hands. Again, in that straight plank position and bringing opposite knee to opposite arm. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, back down to our prone, and we're gonna do some prone twists. So we're trying to get our hip down on the floor. 10 of these, five, four, three, two, one. Good, 
finishing off back into our crunch position and coming up into a pulse here for 10 seconds. Shoulders off the ground. Five, four, three, two, and one. Putting our feet just a little bit wider than our mat now because we're going to come and do some ankle taps. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. And that's your first set done. So in between, we're going to do some back extensions just to even it up. So lying down, arms straight out, legs straight out, and coming up. Hold for five, and down. This is your recovery set. So it shouldn't be too strenuous. Make sure you get your breath back in this set so you can put maximum energy into the next one. Last one. Good, now bring your elbows up and we're just gonna get a little bit higher. So 10 of these. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, now going back to our ab set. So this is often called a high intensity interval training. So we do a really high intensity set for a couple of minutes and break it up with a moderate to get your recovery in there. But it's trying to minimize that time of actually not doing anything. Right, straight into crunches. Three, two, one. Good. Leg raises. So the reason you can stick your hands under your bum is to make sure that spine is nice and flat, okay? As soon as you start getting an arch, we don't want that because you're not activating your abs. So making sure that's nice and flat. Now remember it's 10 on each leg. So we're doing 20 kicks. Couple more. And straight into double. So only go down until you can feel your arch starting to happen, okay? There's no point in going all the way down if you've got a big arch in your back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now, moving in bicycle and uh, Russian twist, so we're working on our obliques, the side of them. Okay, so opposite elbow, opposite knee, shoulders are off the ground. We're not gripping our head, it should be lifting by itself. Three, two, one, good. Coming up into a V position and twisting down. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Now we've got our prone sets. So onto the front, holding the first prone for 10 seconds, making sure we're not holding any tension in our arms, because this is ultimately an ab exercise, not an arm exercise. Three, two, one. Good. Coming up onto our hands, and opposite knee, opposite elbow. If you feel like you're not getting close enough, just bring the hands back, and you'll be able to get there. Five, four, three, two, and one. And back down for twists. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Last two. Up into our pulse position. Ten, three, two, one. Bring our legs wider than the mat and coming down for ankle taps. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Into our moderate set. So going over to 
back extensions. Nice and slow, this is where you get your breath back. So coming up, hold for five, and down again. Up, hold for five, and down again. It's important to even up all your ab work with some back extensions, because you can often get worried about having a flat tummy or a six pack and forget about how important your lower back muscles are. Finish off with some extensions. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, and we've got one more set to go. Probably won't do it in time. <laughs> All right, let's go, crunches. Three, two, one. Good, straighten to legs. Okay, you should be really starting to get tired now. That's good, it's supposed to be a high intensity exercise. So the benefits you can get out of 15 minutes of this are often much more than an hour walk or something. It doesn't take long, so it's really good for people who don't have a lot of time. Couple more. Double. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right, straight into bicycles. You've really got to minimize that time in between the exercises. Three, two, one. Straight into Russian twist. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Over to our prone set. Holding for ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Three, two, one. Good. Slow mountain climbers. Again, as you get tired, often people want to either stick their bum up or their back down, making sure it's nice and tight. Suck your tummy in. Three, two, one. Back down for twist. Five, four, Three, two, one. Straight into our last two. Even I'm building up a sweat. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs out, ankle taps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work. And that's your super ab sets done. So we ended up doing 300 reps of ab exercises. Uh, if you want to do that for half an hour, just repeat that whole thing again. If you want to do a 45 minute exercise, throw in one of my half hour sessions and then add in that 15 minute at the end. Thanks, I'll see you next time. Thank you.